This video shows how to implement a low-cost graphical user interface solution with Linux running on the MicroSemi Smart Fusion Mixed Signal FPGA device using an SPI-connected LCD monitor. Here I have an MCraft A2F LNX EVB Smart Fusion Evaluation Board connected over SPI to a low-cost LCD monitor used in the earlier Nokia cell phones. The board can be purchased for about $15 from SparkFun Electronics. Similar boards using the same LCD controller and monitor devices are available from other vendors. The LCD controller on the board provides an SPI connection to the host over a four-wire interface. Commands and data bytes are passed from the host to the LCD controller using 9-bit SPI frames. A Linux image with networking and a frame buffer device driver for the LCD monitor is programmed into the external flash of the A2F LNX ENVB board. I'm going to hit the reset button on the board to boot that image up onto the Smart Fusion target. As you can see, it takes about 3 to 4 seconds for U-Boot and Linux to configure the network interface and bring the system up to the shell prompt on Smart Fusion. Now from the Linux console, I'm going to set up the time and date. Then I'm going to start the Telnet daemon so that I am able to connect to the board from the remote Telnet terminals. Finally, I am ready to start a demo application that implements a simple graphical user interface on the LCD monitor. The demo binaries are all available in the Linux root file system that is part of my boot image, so I just go to the application directory and start my demo. Here you can see the GUI interface implemented by my demo application running on the LCD monitor. In the top panel, the demo shows the current date and time. You can see the seconds changing in the right top corner of the monitor. In the right bottom corner, the demo shows the amount of free memory available to Linux at each moment. In the left bottom corner, the demo shows the current value of a couple of emulated sensors. Finally, in the middle of the screen, there is an interactive user menu. For the input device, I use emulated input using the standard STDIN Linux interface. When I hit enter on the application terminal, my demo goes to the next entry in the menu. And when I press P, the demo takes it as a command to enter the current menu entry. Here you can see what menu interactions look like in real time. I can go from one menu item to another, choose a particular menu entry, and return back to the main menu. Of course, the time and date and other sensors continue to be updated at all times. As you can see, Smart Fusion provides cell phone-like responsiveness. Linux continues to be fully capable of running other things, shells, telnet connections, etc., along with my GUI application. Let's try, for instance, connecting to Smart Fusion from a remote telnet session. Here I connect to my Smart Fusion board over telnet and check the current date. As I do it, the memory sensor in my demo shows that there is less free memory left now that I have more processes running on my target. Here are a couple of snapshots of the user interface provided by the demo application I have just demonstrated. These are BMP files that I have obtained by doing a simple cat slash dev slash fb0 from the running Linux and then gluing in a BMP header to the start of the file. In case you are interested in further details, there is an application note available at MCraft's website that provides additional information on the LCD frame buffer device driver.